glory and bless the name of the Lord on this morning. Amen. 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 The Lord ain't about to praise you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Saints, are you happy this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. My soul is rejoicing. Amen. Amen. Every day that I'm alive, amen, I give God the praise. Amen. I mean, with all my heart and soul. Hallelujah. We're getting ready for our service on today. Amen. This is our pastor and wife's, amen, 24th anniversary. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's just not a small deal. We were planning this thing, we were talking, and some of us, this will be the last anniversary in this building. Amen. 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 We plan on taking our pastor lady out of here and taking her down on today. Hallelujah. How many of you come to have church on today? Hallelujah. That's the reason we're here. Amen. Aside from the occasion. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you come to the name of the house of the Lord, you ought to give him every ounce of your praise that you have. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And in case you have a problem in doing that, amen, we got some singing for you on today. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So right now, this time, you're in the hands of our praise team. Amen. Feel free to clap, dance, sing, and do whatever you want to. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. But give God your best. Amen. You're in the hands of the praise team.
your life. You got a decree to declare everything over your life. Hallelujah. That's the name of the Lord on the day. Hallelujah. If you have a problem, amen, getting into the service of that zone, you need to check your pulse on today. Hallelujah. I declare that today will be the best day of my life. Hallelujah. We give your name glory to that praise on the day, God. Not for the things you know, God, but that's for who you are. We worship your name on today, God. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody will give you praise right there. God will bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's been too good to you. He's been too good to you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, praise Him. Our God, we all feel hard to start on today. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to attempt to move on right now. Amen. Right now we have the presentation of our honorees. Amen. By our very own Sister Charma Williams. lady, a mother, grandmother, sister, cousin, and friend. And let's not forget how much she loves her Jesus man. She serves her husband, she serves behind her, beside her husband, knowing God will gracefully guide her every step. I present to you all, lady, queen lady of the Take Temple Church of God in Christ, Dolores Williams. Now introducing our pastor, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Matthew 5 and 16. Pastor is saved, sanctified, and filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. He is a man of God. He is a husband, father, grandpa, big brother, cousin, and friend. He loves his lady D. He is the proud pastor of the Take Temple Church of God in Christ. You are indeed a reflection of God's love, and we want you to know how much we appreciate you and love you for all you have done. Please give a round of standing applause for our MVP, our most valuable pastor, and his Queen Lady D. Missionary Dolores Williams. We honor you. We thank God for you all. Aren't they beautiful, y'all? To God be the glory before they come to me and I want to say, 
say this little word to you all. Be not anxious in, about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and partition, petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guide your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. We love you both. for the incoming of our first family, amen, and our leaders on today, amen. It's so good to see you all on today. Hallelujah, amen. Right now, we're getting ready for our invocation. Our scripture reading, our invocation is coming from our very own Elder Milton Allen, our Old Testament from Deacon David Coleman, and our New Testament from Elder Leon Johnson. Knowledge and understanding. May 
Instructing those that oppose themselves, if God prevents you, will give them repentance to knowledge of truth, and they that may record themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Amen.
with this here, amen, our church family tributes. We ask that you call the program, that you will position yourselves, all we have one of your hands so we can do this thing um, in a wonderful manner. This time we're going to have a celebratory music from the youth, a tribute to the First Lady from our own sister Tara Tidwell, a tribute to the pastor from Brother Patrick Williams, and celebratory music from the Miller family.
before you today. I give honor to the Most High in whom all honor is due. To everyone that is in the house of the Lord, I am here to pay tribute to my first lady today. My first, my first lady. words of encouragement. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 31 and 11 and 12 in the NIV says, her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. Hallelujah. I believe that this scripture is a true definition of our first lady. God gave you to our pastor. Hallelujah. On purpose. Hallelujah. He handpicked you because he knew that you, hallelujah, were the helpmate that was equipped for the job. Right. Glory be to God. I have found out myself that ministry can be hard. It can be very lonely at times. It requires a lot of sacrifice, a lot of time, and sometimes a lot of tears. But you, First Lady, have stood faithfully alongside of our man of God and loved him and supported him encouraged him, setting a, an example of true commitment Amen. to not only God and the man, but to the work that God has called him to do. Amen. Hallelujah. To have you as our first lady is a blessing given by none other than God himself. Amen. You are the epitome of a godly woman full of grace and beauty. You show us that you love our pastor by supporting him and walking this journey with him. Yeah. You show us that you love us by treating us as your children, caring for us, praying for us, and being a source of inspiration and encouragement. Yeah. Today, we commend you and we celebrate you for your dedication, your devotion, your kindness, and your commitment. You are greatly admired, revered, and appreciated. I love you, First Lady. There are just no words to express how much I love you, and I'm so proud to call you my First Lady. Amen. Hallelujah. And before I can express words of encouragement to you all, I must first say thank you for what you have already done. Thank you for sacrificing so much for our church family. We see you. Thank you for rearranging your daily plans, your own plans, your own trips, your own whatever you feel necessary, but you will re rearrange your life to support us during our times of fear, grief, pain, sickness, we see your commitment. Thank you for adapting to all of the many ministry demands on your life. We see your strength. Thank you for hearing and obeying the voice of God for 24 years. We see your faithfulness. Today we honor you for your sacrifices that you make, not only for us, but the kingdom of God as a whole. I encourage you today to be encouraged. You do not stand alone. There is a tribe of us who support you. Hallelujah. And as you continue to follow Christ, we will continue to follow you. We will continue to support you. We will continue to trust you. We will continue to love you. Hallelujah. We love you. We appreciate you. Happy anniversary. And may God grant us many, 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 many more years in service together. Hallelujah. And the word of the Lord that was spoken over our pastor a few weeks ago was, you're going to live to see it happen. Hallelujah. And I celebrate that word today that was spoken over his life. You're going to live to see it happen. Hallelujah. A few years ago, I heard a sermon that was called, When Shepherds Bleed. And the, the sermon, it was so powerful. And the man of God kept saying, when shepherds bleed, who will take care of the shepherd? Hallelujah. And I believe that in this house, we have a lot of intercessors. We have a lot of prayer warriors. I don't know nothing about nursing, but pastor, when you need me, I plan on being here. Who will take care of the shepherd when the shepherd bleeds? Hallelujah. And I believe that the greater take temple church of God in Christ, we are equipped and we have been called to help take care of our shepherd and take care of our first lady. We love you, God. We bless you. We honor you today. And we hope that our small giving today, hallelujah, it's just something that shows you how much we appreciate you. I love you.
love you both. God bless you. Amen. 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 Bruising 
pain and even knock you down. Some of the best armor kits in the world are made manufactured by DuPont USA, Point Blank Solutions, and Tex Tech Industries and various others. In order to get a quality armor, it costs a lot of money. But the arm my dad wears, you won't find it at Academy Sports. You won't find it at Cabela's or even Bass Pro Shop. You'll never have to worry about the buttons falling off. Come on. The zipper getting stuck. Come on. The red on red. The best part about this arm is that it didn't cost him a dime because the bill has already been paid. Come on. The brand is called Jesus and it's manufactured by God in heaven. Family, and certainly your Tate Temple family, we love you, and we love you, we love you.
Hallelujah. Amen. Happy with Jesus alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, I'm going to pass you the mic first, lady. You know what I can't say? My God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Happy with Jesus alone. Hallelujah. Listen, I was sitting there and um, I was thinking about uh, when we were putting the program together and uh, uh, Deacon Wright volunteered for the Patrick. And I thought to myself, I said, you know, that's an excellent person because there's no shade to the girls and the daughters. But there is nothing like a tribute being given by your son. And I saw the joy of your face for your son. But not only that, amen, we thank God for everybody that gave tribute on the day. All of you did a wonderful job on the day. Hallelujah. Amen. It's good to be loved. It's good to be loved. Hallelujah. Amen. At this time, we're up to the ministry of giving. Our offertory remarks on our expert lighter is Deacon Philip Wright. Our offertory prayer will be coming from our very own Deacon Frank Coleman. Amen. I got in the praises in the house. <laughs> if you don't like to praise God, you go on the wrong path. That's it. That's it. Because he's a true praiser. He's a man of God. No matter where he go, and his first lady, our first lady, stands right by his side. And we thank God for them. Amen. What a joy. Greetings to my brothers and sisters in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Just to stop just for a moment to say to Brother Patrick, that was so wonderful. Amen. Sister Power, that was so wonderful. Brother. But Brother Patrick didn't have any shame in his game. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Could not have done it better myself. Amen. Amen. And again, greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. On behalf of our pastor, Superintendent Leroy Williams, First Lady Dolores Williams, the Tech Temple Church family that are here and here and online and on conference calls. We love you today with the love of God. We count it an honor and privilege to come to you. I am the Deacon Philip Wright, who is the chairman of the Pastor and Wife Anniversary Committee. I am godly proud for you, the Take Temple family that are here and that are watching online and on conference call. And to all our distinguished friends and above all, our honored guests on today. The right Reverend Bishop Robert G. Rudolph Jr. And by his side, First Lady Michelle Rudolph. Let's give them a God bless you all today. We are so honored to have them in our midst, along with all of our many friends and family. I see the butlers here today in the name of the Dennis. Amen. Amen. Thank God for Father Dennis. We are so honored and proud to be able to come to you and to have you to enjoy the Lord with us on this 24th anniversary of our pastor and wife. Yes, yes. I come to you to, to appeal to you on behalf of giving for this worthy cause. Yes. These are our great leaders. Yes. On last year, I called them our pandemic leaders. Yes. And they are still our pandemic leaders. Yes. Amen. Because I know truly that the Lord is on their side. Because during this time, our pastor could have gotten worse. Amen. But he's gotten better. Amen. And we thank God for that. We always pray and lift up our leaders on today. We thank God even for this time when we are still experiencing the pandemic, even though there were a lot of loss of uh, in, in strict restrictions 
that have been put before us and now they have been lifted and we can do a few more things now. We're able to come to you live. We're able to come to you in person and by all virtual means. Amen. On today, if you have not blessed our leaders, anyone that's here on today that have not blessed our leaders, we come this time to extend another call that you may be able to bless them Amen. because they are worthy. Amen. And if anyone that received your envelope when you came into the house of the Lord on today, uh, you may raise your hand at any time and our ushers would be gladly to serve you. Amen. But we don't want you to leave here the way you came. Amen. If you had a lot of money, we want you to leave here with less money. <laughs> And we'll thank God for you. Second Corinthians 9 and 7 says, Every man according to his purpose in his heart. So let him give not grudgingly of uh, necessity, for God loveth the cheer for giver. First Timothy 5 and 17 said, Let the elders who rule well be counted worthy of double honor. Did you hear that word? Double honor. So if you were going to give the pastor ten dollars, give him twenty. If you were going to give him fifty, give him a hundred. If you were going to give him a hundred, give him two hundred. And the Lord will bless you. Amen. Going on down to the 18th verse, it said, Mother not the ark that treaded out the coin, for the laborer is worthy of his reward. And truly today, our pastor and first lady are worthy of everything that we can do done. My brother told me when I was going through a crisis in my life, he said that God will give you double for your trouble. So, Pastor and First Lady today, the Lord will do just that. And I know you already know that. So, please, if you will give unto the Lord at this time, if you have not given, and the money won't spoil. So, if you think, so, well, if I don't give it today, I can't give it. You can still give it. You can still give it. We will receive it. We will accept it. And the Lord will still continue to bless it. For any gift that you give is not your harvest, but it's your seed. Because it's too small to be your harvest. And how many of you today are looking for a greater harvest? I believe somebody in the room always wants to be blessed. So this is the way that you start to be in blessed is by giving. You may give by Givelify Cash App, the Take Temple, Dollar Sign Take Temple. Come by the Secretary's office today, and if you're already here, you can always go by the Secretary's office. If, if you didn't feel like that you were prompt to give before this word that I'm giving you on today or before Brother Patrick and Sister Tara gave the tribute and these songs. Amen. You can give now. And also, you can send your offering in the mail to Post Office Box 193, Arkadelphia, Arkansas, 71923. Given and it shall be given unto you. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together. And running over shall men give unto your bosom. For the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. So don't think that you are giving in vain. For when you give, it shall be given back to you. God bless you on today for your giving. And I see you in the future. Yeah. And you look much better yeah. than you right now.
Most gracious Heavenly Father, the creator, the maker, and sustainer of all mankind. Lord, we're so thankful for this day. Thankful that we are able to serve a God who created the heavens and the earth and by his spoken word. Yes. Who created all time, space, and matter. Yes. Just by speaking the word. Yes. And nothing became something. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? Yes. With all power and might in his hand. Yes. Lord, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Ghost and result. That empowers us, empowers us for this life. Most of all, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who reconciled us back to the Father that we might again have eternal life. And Lord, we are so thankful for this time of giving, a time to express our love and encouragement to our pastor, who is the right man to lead Take Temple at this time. We ask that you will continually Strengthen him both physically and encourage him uh, spiritually and physically. Lord, we ask that you would bless those that will give. And bless those that desire to give and may not have. And may it be a source of uh, encouragement and expression of our love to them that they continue on this way. As I mentioned before, he is the man. That, lead, that we need to lead take them at this time. He is a man of the hour. Yes. That we need to lead the church at this time. We are so thankful to have him, Lord. And Lord, we ain't even ask that you would bless those that may give grudgingly. We ask that you would bless them that may give to be seen. We ask that you would bless them and touch the hearts, Lord. You are able to touch the heart and change that heart, Lord. Indeed, blessing we ask in our son Jesus' name. Thank God. Thank God.
I give honor and respect to our beloved pastor. Yeah. And I'm going to read today Superintendent Leroy Williams, my beloved, my Jesus man, yeah. to our guest speaker on today, Bishop Robert G. Rudolph Jr. Yeah. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for joining us today. Amen. And thank you so much for being here. Lady Rudolph, we his beautiful wife, beautiful sister, my beautiful sister, amen, the wife of our speaker, Madam Michelle Rudolph. Thank you for being with us today. I want to thank the Calvary praise team that, that come along with you today. God bless you, Calvary. God bless you. Amen. My cousin is here today, and I don't want to leave her out because she's my sweetheart. Missionary Beverly Williams, amen. Seven seats, cousin. Amen. Thank you for being here today. I knew she wanted to be here, so she made her way here today. And to everyone that make up this August body, God bless you, everyone. And to everyone viewing this service via Facebook Live, thank you for sharing this special day with us. God bless you, one and all. Special thanks to our wonderful, wonderful Take Temple family. You did it again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Words cannot express how we truly feel today. But I want you to know that we truly, truly thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for loving us. Thank you and making this day very special for us today. We truly regret that all of the members could not be here today because of the COVID guidelines. But you are here with us in spirit. We love you all dearly. We want to thank Deacon Wright and the Anniversary Committee for spearheading this wonderful and blessed day. Amen. Everything has been wonderful has for us. Our MC for a wonderful job. Thank you, Mr. Tigrell. Sister Tara, thank you for the beautiful tribute to me and uh, the words of encouragement to us. Thank you. Special thanks to the Healer family, the youth. To our son Patrick for that beautiful tribute to his father, the praise team, the decorations committee, and all of the program participants. Thank you so much. Lastly, but certainly not least, I thank God for my wonderful husband. Amen. My Jesus man. Amen. The love of my life. Superintendent of Lord Williams. I thank God for the 21 glorious years that we have shared together in marriage. And in the ministry, I'm God and proud to be your wife. Amen. 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 Certainly, we thank God for our wonderful children. And today, Patrick, Chama, Ricky, Katie, Amen. Did I miss somebody? <laughs> Rashonda, Amen, my daughter. God bless you. <laughs> they all look so beautiful. And everybody looks beautiful today. They are blue today. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. We appreciate their love and support, our children, for their love and support in the to us and to the ministry. Because they could be somewhere else, whether you know it or not. Take them, but they could be somewhere else. Amen. Amen. They would. They don't have to be here with us helping in the ministry. Amen. And I thank God for our children. Amen. Amen. For our seven grandchildren, they're not all here today, but a few of them are here today. And we thank God for our living and deceased parents. For without them, we wouldn't be here today. Amen. We thank God for a portion of our Williams and Reed family being here today. Once again, I want to thank everyone for sharing this special day with us. I love you all with the love of God, and may God bless you all. At this time, will you please receive the proud pastor of the Tate Temple Church of God in Christ, my husband, my Jesus' name, Superintendent of the Lord. Well, do I have any praises in the house? Yes, come on! Oh, we love the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Well, I feel his presence. Yes, yes, yes. You may be seated in his presence. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Oh, man, I feel no fear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, Lord. Lord, 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 Lord,
to them. Amen. So I have to give him praise and I have to give him thanks for all that he does for us. I do honor God today and his son Jesus, who is the head of my life. Amen. And to my beautiful queen that is standing here beside me. Amen. Thank God for her and all that she does for me. I tell you know, if it had not been for her all right. and the Lord, let me put it the other way, it had not been for the Lord and her. Uh -huh. Amen. You all might have been celebrating the anniversary with some other leader. My, but thanks my, be my. to God. Yeah. But thanks be to God. Yeah. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Special friend, a man and his wife, Bishop Rudolph. Yeah. Adam Rudolph. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Bishop did not go way back. Yeah. Way back. He was, I'm not, I think he might, were you still a teenager? 18, 19, somewhere in there? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. When, when I became his superintendent, Victory Temple Church of God in Christ, that yeah. he was the pastor. Amen. Just a young, young, almost like a boy. <laughs> we were very really young. Amen. Praise God. And we got a long way on the end. I didn't give him any trouble. He didn't give me any trouble. Amen. I hated to see him leave. Praise God. Went on to do greater things for the Lord. Amen. You know, I think I heard Sister uh, Tanil. Uh, say earlier that my wife was a woman of many words. <laughs> she, she wrote down many words. <laughs> so I really don't have to say very much. <laughs> and then I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for what you have done today. Amen. If, if Sister Brother James and Sister Electric Bradford of South Carolina, if you watch it, we thank you for your special love gift. People just, you know, it's, it's good when people that don't even live in your area can still think about you yes, on your special day. Amen. I want to just thank all of the Tate Temple. The butlers are here. They always wear the loudest seat. Sister Allison and Roe back in the town. Yeah. Glad to see her and glad to see the other Allison family. Amen. Yeah. 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 Amen. You all don't forget us. Amen. You all don't forget us. And we just thank God for all of you that are here. All of my, my family, my daughters, my wife that covered all of that. Amen. I hate to just repeat it, but we thank God for my family. Amen. And Patrick, thank God for you. Amen. Thank God for your words. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what I told him. I said, you got some of my blood in you. Amen. All now you need now is just the anointing of the Holy Ghost to come forward. Praise God. The blood is already there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank God for our brother, daughter, Chama. Yeah. I'm gonna mess up anyway. Thank God for my daughter Rashana. Yeah. Amen. My daughter Katie. My son Ricky. Amen. This came into the. When we first got married, he started calling me daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes when, you, when you're that age, it's a little hard to. Yeah. New dad coming to your life. Amen. You start calling him daddy. Amen. So I just thank God for all of you all. Amen. The tip way else, thank God for you. Yeah, I called Rashonda. I think I did. She called me daddy too. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Mama D. <laughs> so we're just so happy for all of you being here today. I'm not going to come up for a long time. We got the, the mission battle. We have give him plenty of time. Sister Bell. God bless you. I got the word. You you coming in anyway. What you had a seat for you? <laughs> yes, yes. See, Sister Todd, she's every day. Amen. 
she looks at all of every now and then. So we just thank God. We thank God for my grandchildren, the, the, the song that the youth gave. And then the family. And then the family. And then the My wife, I'm allowed to be a man on me. We need it worse. So I'm coming down. Thank everyone. Thank you for praising. Praise God. Thank all of you. I got many words, but I'm right here on Sunday morning. Sometimes they want me to cut my words, I think. But, <laughs> hallelujah. Glory to God. But, but see, a lot of times on Sunday morning when the words are flowing, that's not me. That's the he that is in me. Hey, that is speaking. And I'm just the vessel, the voice. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah, y'all. Hey, come on, honey. Listen to that word. I'm feeling something. selection of the K of Calvary praise team, and then we will be in the hands of our speaker on today, Bishop Robert G. Rudolph, Jr.
y'all didn't have to stop with me. Superintendent said, I feel something in here on today. And how many of you know it's the Holy Ghost? It's the Holy Ghost. Give all honor and praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the FAA of this house. I call him the FAA, Brother Patrick, who's in the Air Force Reserve, because he's the first administrative assistant. And we honor him on today. We thank you so much. He is our my pastor, my husband's superintendent. He calls him his superintendent. And to my sister, Queen, Queen Dolores Williams, she is definitely a queen sister to me. To the Tate Temple family and to all the saints of God, the ministers, the worship leaders, the everyone that is here on today. I'm not going to be before you long. Calvary, can I hear you in the house? And we are honored to be here on today. But I get up for none other but to introduce my king. This man is a righteous, obedient, brave, encouraging, another righteous and running, tall servant of the Lord. This man is none other than Bishop Robert G. Rudolph Jr. He is a man of integrity. He is a man of Jesus' life. He's a man that loves order. He's a man that loves the word of God. He's a man that loves the anointing of God. He's a man that walks in the anointing of God. He's a man that loves God's people. He's a man that loves people, those people that they say they're not even of God. But he loves people. He's a man that is going to bring the word on today. So I tell everybody every time I get up to introduce uh -huh. him, set your radio stations on Happy Street. That's the station where you're going to get the anointing. That's the station you're going to get the Holy Spirit. That's the station you're going to get the word of God. That's the station you're going to get the guidance of God. And after the praise team of Calvary comes, go ahead and turn that down. The dial that's led by the blood. The dial that's led by Jesus on the cross. The dial that's led by direction and wisdom. We thank God to be here on today. So after the praise team, we give you the prelate of the St. Martin Rehoboth jurisdiction of the Church of God in Christ. The pastor of the Calvary Church of God in Christ in Malvern. Davis Memorial in Crossett, Arkansas. The former Adjutant General of the Church of God in Christ Incorporated. The most of all, be my food. Bless you all and receive you here. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Water is 
just think of somebody that's not related to you, somebody that's not connected to you. And I want you to begin to pray for them right now. Just a word of intercessory prayer for somebody other than yourself, somebody else. Pray right now. Just begin to pray. Father, we thank you on this day for how good you've been to all of us. And in spite of everything that we have been through, you've been there for us. And God, we want to thank you. Hallelujah. We want to thank you right now in this house. We put our hands together and we bless the name of the Lord. Somebody, come on, help me. So just thank God. Help me to thank God. Help me to thank God. Hallelujah. Father, I have prepared something privately to give publicly on today. Lord, I ask that you would help me as I minister your word. Now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And let the church say, Amen. Come on, put those hands together. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. I woke you up this morning. If you got you started on your way, come on, put those hands together. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. Y'all need to go. Come on. Amen. Clap your hands on these people. And shout with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 Come on, say temple. Let's give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. I do give honor to God allow me to be here with you. And I give honor and deference to the great leader of this church, none other than a mentor to me, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. Uh, let's hear it for Superintendent Lee Roy Williams. Amen. here to this church during the time that I was at Henderson, and Superintendent Owen Dennis uh, kind of helped and mentored uh, a lot of the students at Henderson, but he just really meant a lot to all of us because he was an older gentleman in the church, and he always respect the wisdom of the older saints. He was very encouraging, and uh, when I got out of college and, and went away for a while and came back from D.C. and doing all the stuff in politics and government, and then I came back, Bishop Lindsay wanted me to come to uh, Arkadelphia, same place I went to school, and he sent me to Victory Temple. Amen. I thank God for your district missionary who was in the house. Come on, let's hear it. This is Maxwell. Little Maxwell. He sent me to Victory Temple, and I do appreciate him for the experience that he gave to me. But Superintendent Leroy Williams was my first superintendent as a pastor. And that was like 30 years ago. I know I don't look. That was like 30 years ago. And if you really think that I look young now, I really was looking young back then. But Superintendent Williams really pushed me. And I was dealing with a lot. You know, you're, you're young and you're, you're starting pastoring. Just a lot of things were going on. But Superintendent Williams really pushed me. And that meant a great deal to me because 
a lot of times people don't, you know, they, they just, you know, like, well, Bishop sent this boy down here, the pastor. And, uh, you know, a lot of times people don't have patience with you. Come on, come on. And you're going to make mistakes. Come on. Amen. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to have some issues that happen in church. You know how church folks are. But Superintendent Williams was always praying for me, always supporting me. And uh, I, I still remember the day that I was in Saul, this pastor, and Superintendent uh, Dennis prayed, and then Superintendent Williams put his hands on me. And that just meant a lot to have leadership, yes. true sanctified leadership. Y'all yes. oh, come on down here yes. to be behind you. So again, I appreciate Superintendent Williams and Bishop Blake. I talked to Bishop Blake uh, quite a bit, even now. And uh, he always asked me about my superintendent. Amen. He met uh, he met Superintendent Williams one time in the, in the uh, uh, elevator. And uh, I, I was so proud. Boy, y'all just don't know. I was so proud. I said, Bishop, this is my superintendent. And to this day, he, I think he believes that he's still my superintendent. And I don't ever change it. That's my superintendent. So I appreciate him. And whatever I can do for Superintendent Leroy Williams, I'm going to do it. Because that's my superintendent. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. 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 Come on, let's hear it from Sister Barbara Allen. Come on, let's hear it from her. Let's hear it from her. Now, now, let me do this before I get into my message. I, I want to thank God for um, the... I want to thank God for the Tate Temple family because Brother brother Justin, could you stand up, Brother Justin? <laughs> Amen. Brother Justin is not only the minister of music at Calvary, but he gets up early in the morning and he meets us there and, uh, <laughs> every Sunday. And he is also the minister of music of the St. Martin Rehoboth jurisdiction. I want to thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. I got to put Patrick on the spot because he is my brother as well, and we're always texting each other. Uh, but didn't he do a good job? He did. Amen. 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 Come on. Thank God for the Calvary Praise Team. And Sister Beverly, I didn't care what was going on and what, what was happening with COVID. Sister Beverly was going to be here today. <laughs> I just want to let Superintendent know what was going on. Amen. And thank God for First Lady Michelle Luna. I love her very much. That's my girl. And Sister Michelle, her great uncle was uh, Elder Elmer Perry. Now, those of you who know or remember Elder Perrin, uh, Slade Rudolph is his great niece. And yes, right, her dad was named after Elder uh, Elmer, Elder Elmer Perrin. So, uh, Junior, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Junior. So I thank God, thank God. Come on, let's thank God for Slade Rudolph. Amen. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. There is a word from the Lord. And there are two particular verses of Scripture. I'd ask if you would stand for the reading of the word. We're going to Jeremiah 3.15. And we're also going to 2 Timothy 4, 1 and 2. Jeremiah 3.15. 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 2. And this is the word of the Lord. And I will give you shepherds according to my heart. Uh-huh who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 2 tells us, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Preach the word. Mm -hmm. Be ready in season and out of season. Uh -huh. Convince Rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. Both of those scriptures were read from the New King James Version. I want everybody in the house, I want you to point at Superintendent Leroy Williams 
because we got a message for him today. Uh huh. And, and I did tell Patrick, Patrick, I ain't gonna tell Superintendent what to do now. But if y'all help me to tell him what to do, then it'll be all right. Is that okay? I want you to look at him and I want you to say, Superintendent. Superintendent. Keep your charge. Keep your charge. All right. Come on, y'all, we can do better than that. Look at him one more time, but just, I mean, point that finger at him, and I want you to say it like you mean it. Y'all gotta help me now. Come on, help me say, Superintendent. Superintendent. Keep your charge. Keep your charge. Let's give the Lord a hand praise. You may be seated. Jeremiah pictures a day when Israel would have shepherds who lived according to God's word. And they imparted life through their understanding. That word understanding, according to the biblical knowledge of it, means to be wise and even to behave wisely. It means to be instructed and to be prudent and to be intelligent. When you have a shepherd that will feed you with knowledge and understanding, a thinking shepherd, a shepherd who cares, somebody who really believes in you and supports your every effort, you are blessed. Because I'm here to tell you this afternoon that there are some shepherds who are only there because of the money. They're only there because of what they might get on Sunday morning. They're not concerned about you throughout the week. They're not concerned about you after the Sunday morning worship. But they are only concerned about what you can get for them. My, my, my. So God was saying that I don't want those type of pastors for you because you are my people. And God knew the kind of heart of the shepherd that he wanted to give to his people. Now I'm trying to tell you right now that no church can function without designated leaders. Come on, come on. According to Acts the 14th chapter and the 23rd verse, it indicated, and when they had ordained them elders in every church uh -huh. and had prayed with fasting, uh -huh. they commended them to the Lord on whom they believed. Uh -huh. Whenever your elder or whatever your pastor is appointed, we should do it through seeking God in spirit and in prayer. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, it wouldn't hurt if we would pray and we would fast and we would seek God's face. I understand that the bishop in our church has the ability to appoint the leader, and God appointed Superintendent Leroy Williams, but I just believe that somebody was fasting. I believe that somebody was praying. Yes, Superintendent Williams grew up in this area, and yes, you all knew him for many, you have known him for many years, but brothers and sisters, when the anointing of God is not upon your life, it doesn't matter how long I've known you. It doesn't matter how long you have been in my life. It doesn't matter how far you are to me. Because if there had not been some prayer, and if there had not been some fasting, this man would not be here as your pastor. Everybody has to understand that there is one pastor yeah. at a time. Yeah. And Superintendent Leroy Williams Jesus. is the leader of this flock. Yeah. Now he is the shepherd of the church of God and one of his major duties, are y'all with me? Come on. Is to feed the sheep by teaching and preaching God's word. Yeah. He must ever keep in mind the flock which is given to him is no other than the congregation of God. Uh -huh. And this congregation I said this congregation uh -huh. is the congregation that Jesus Christ himself died for. Yeah. Put your hands together right there. And what you must understand is that Superintendent Williams has a charge to keep. Somebody help me say charge, charge. to keep. In Acts, the 20th chapter, verses 19 through 27, Paul 
describes his charge as a shepherd of the church of Ephesus. He declared that the whole will of God by faithfully warning and teaching the Ephesians uh, when he said, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Paul was able to say, I am pure from the blood of all men. It simply means that Superintendent Williams has a charge to teach you and to preach you. And what I like about it is that his charge is a charge that's upon your life. I said his charge is a charge that is upon your life. The Bible tells us that Superintendent Williams must simply preach the word. He's got to be instant in season and out of season to reprove and to rebuke. Sometimes people like to hear the word of God. But they don't want to hear the word right. when they have to be reproved. Come on, come they don't on. want to hear the word when they have to be rebuked. But thanks be to God, this preacher who has this charge begins not only to preach and teach the word, but he allows the Lord to use him. And without partiality, uh -huh. help me somebody, yeah. without partiality, he will preach and yes. teach yes. to family, to non-family yes. members, to Tate Temple members, yes. to the district. He will do what he needs to do because yes. he realizes that if he doesn't do it, there will be a time uh -huh. when God will judge him, yes. when God will condemn him. Yes. Because the Bible says, for the time will come when they will not ensure or in, they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and they shall be turned unto fables. So I'm here to tell you, just look at superintendent one more time and say, superintendent, superintendent keep, your charge. keep your charge. Come on, say it again. Superintendent, superintendent keep, your charge. keep your charge. Superintendent Williams is charged under obligation to preach Christ and not to preach customs. Come on. Superintendent Williams is charged under obligation to preach Christ and not curiosities. He is charged under obligation to preach Christ and not child childishness. He is obligated to preach Christ and not controversy. The charge of the pastor is to preach the facts and nothing but the facts. He is not to preach fiction. He is not to preach false doctrine. He is not to preach foolishness. He is not to preach mess. He is not to preach innuendo. He should not preach what you want him to preach. But he's got to hear a word from the Lord. Anybody know what I'm talking about? But you got to hear a word from the Lord. When the Lord is there and he ministers to you, this man has a charge. What you must understand is that sometimes you go to bed with him because he's thinking of you on, in on, his sleep. On, sometimes he may not be able to get the proper rest that he needs because he's thinking of something that happened. Or he's thinking of a person who might have passed on. Or he's thinking about a family that he is supposed to help and support. It's always something for the pastor to do. And so he is doing it not because it's something that he just wants to do. Come on, somebody. Now, I'm going to be real with mine. I'm going to be very real with mine. There are a whole lot of things that I could be doing. Other than pastoring the church. On, I can't hear nobody. On, there are a whole lot of things that I can be doing. Other than preparing a sermon on Sunday morning. Because sometimes when you minister God's word. There are going to be people in the audience. Who do not care about what you're saying. No they don't. Can I be real with mine? Can I be real with mine? You have labored in that word. You have got into the word. And there are some people who don't even understand it or do not appreciate what you're presenting unto them. But Superintendent Williams, you are 
are charged to preach the facts, yeah. not finances, yeah. not foolery, uh -huh. not foolishness, yeah. not fiction, yeah. but you are charged to preach the facts. Yeah. The Bible says, Behold, I come quickly, uh -huh. and my reward is with me to give unto them according to their own works. Superintendent Williams, come on, help me somebody. He is charged by God to preach the truth, yes. not traditions. Yes. He is charged by God to preach the truth, not technology. He is charged by God to preach the truth and not trash. We have been charged to preach salvation and not science. We have been charged to preach salvation and not stories. We have been charged to preach salvation and not speculations. Don't preach sarcasm, don't preach scandals, and don't preach sensualization, but salvation. Come on and put your hands together and say thank God for salvation. Come on, put those hands together and say thank God for salvation. Come on, tell superintendent one more time, keep your charge. Keep your charge. Say it again, keep your charge. Keep your charge. Well, in addition to feeding the flock of God, uh -huh. the true shepherd is charged to protect them from their enemies. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Sometimes we hear a word from the Lord through the pastor. My God. And sometimes it's because God has already showed him uh -huh. what's going to happen. Uh -huh. And because we don't see it. Come on, sir. Come I on, said, because sir. we don't see it. Because we don't understand it. We go somewhere and get an attitude. Come on. And we stop supporting the church. Come on. We stop giving our tithe Come and on. our offering. Right. We stop doing what the pastor has asked us to do. But brothers and sisters, this man sitting right over here right. is praying for your soul. Yeah. This man sitting right over here is watching out for your soul. And he is watching out for those people who are trying to come in and tear up the flock. Oh, bless his name. He is watching for each and every one of you. So he is charged. Paul knew that in the church's future, Satan would raise up with uh, false teachers. They would come from within the church and they would infiltrate the flock of God from the outside. Anybody helping, helping me here today? Come on, come on. They, they would do it from the outside with all imposters. There are some imposters who act like they're preachers. There are some imposters who act like they're pastors. But the Bible tells me that Paul said, I am going to stand and to help those people in spite of themselves. Mama. Sometimes, Superintendent Williams, you got to preach in spite of the congregation. Mama. Sometimes you have to stand in spite of naysayers. Yes. Sometimes you have to stand in spite of what other people are doing. Yes. I'm here to tell you that you are going to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you are going to preach doctrine in and out of season. Paul says in Acts 20 and 29. For I know this. That after my departing. Come on. Shall grievous wolves. Yes. Let me say that one come more on, time. Come on. Come on. For I know this. That after my departing. Uh -huh. Shall grievous wolves oh, enter among you. Not my sparing God. the flock. My there God. are some individuals. My God. After you have heard this good word. My God. They will draw you away. My with God. false teaching. Come on. And false doctrine. Yes, and they will preach you toward themselves. My God. But Superintendent Williams says. In spite of that. Yeah. I've got a charge. Yeah to keep. Yeah. Oh, come on, tell him keep the charge, Superintendent. Keep, keep the charge. Oh, come on, y'all help me now. Keep the charge. 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 Superintendent keep. Williams has a charge to keep. Yes. What I like about this is that his charge is to cry loud. Yes. Cry loud. Yes. Somebody help me say cry loud. Cry loud. His charge is to cry loud. Yes. And spare 
not to lift up my voice like a trumpet yeah. and show God's people the transgressions yeah. of their ways. Yeah. Superintendent Williams has a charge. Yes, I said he has a charge. Yes. Because the Bible tells me yes. that in the midst of his charge, yes. in the midst of his ability to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, yes. in the midst of what he's going through. He has a charge. Yes. Oh, bless his name. Yes. And the Bible says yes. that in the midst of his charge, yes. in the midst of his ability, yes. he has the charge yes. to make up a hedge. Yes. Every now and then you've got to understand yes. that he has to stand yes. in the place of of my Savior. He has to stand and teach and preach what thus said the Lord. Do I have a witness in here? And when he makes up a hedge, the Bible says when he makes up a hedge, he has to stand in the gap before the Lord on behalf of his people. Oh, bless his name. He has a charge to stand in the gate of the Lord's house and to proclaim that there is a word. Oh, bless his name. He declares to all of us that there is a word from the Lord. At this time in the midst of a pandemic, at this time in the midst of mass confusion, in the midst of controversy, in the midst of chaos, we need a pastor. We need a pastor. We need a leader that will stand and do the will of the Lord. Come on and lift your hands and say, thank God. Come on and thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you for a pastor that believes in his charge. Come on and lift those hands. Just tell the Lord, thank you. God, I thank you for this kind of pastor. Y'all still not getting with me. Maybe you're not excited about having this kind of pastor. But I'm here to tell you that this kind of pastor becomes few and far between. But every now and then, every now and then, we need to thank the Lord. For what he has given unto us. I'm here to tell you right now. Never, never take for granted this man of God. Oh, please, somebody. Never take for granted the woman by his side. Because what you don't understand, that there are people out there who want a faithful pastor. There are people out there who want a faithful first lady. And you've already got that combination. So right now, just lift your hands and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for what you've given to this church. Come on, somebody, lift your hands and say, Lord, come on, help me now. Say, Lord, I thank you for what you have already done. Thank you, Lord, for my pastor. Thank you, Lord, for his companion. Thank you, Lord, for his ministry. You ought to put your hands together and thank the Lord. preach salvation. You've got a pastor that will preach what thus said the name of the Lord. Thank you God. Thank you God. He saved. He saved and sanctified. He's filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on somebody and just begin to praise the Lord. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Praise Him for your blessing. Praise Him for your miracle. 
vessel that you have sent today. God, we ask that you would restore everything that he poured out on today. God, watch over him and his companion, amen, as they leave this place, but never your presence, God. And we ask that your anointing will ever be on their lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Amen. Awesome word, awesome word of today. Hallelujah, amen. And I was on my brother-in-law, amen, at one time. He said, I was wondering why sometimes he would say, sometimes I want to be preached to. Amen. And that sermon there was for the pastor. Amen. You pour out and you pour out and you pour out. Amen. And sometimes someone needs to pour into you. So, Pastor, I pray that you got everything that you needed on today, the encouragement that you needed on today. Amen. Again, God bless you. Bless you. Wonderful, wonderful word. Wonderful word. I will not prolong the service on today. Amen. We're up to the showers of love from the anniversary committee. Amen. Coming from our own sister, Phyllis Deloach and Sister Mercy Allen. so many things that I forever cherish, and I'm a better person for being here. Yes. Amen. God has brought a lot of deliverance in my life because of them. And we are here to shower them in love. Yes. And if you didn't put it on the table, maybe you got it in a gift. And you would like to bring your gift this time. Any special gifts, you can come at this time. Gifts. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We would like to present at this time some personal gifts. And I want to start, first of all, every one of the members could not participate on the program to do a special tribute to our past and first lady. Since they are retired, they have plenty of time <laughs> to read their personal tributes from the, from the church family members. These are your thank you cards from members and friends. <laughs> To our pastor and first lady from Deacon and Missionary Wright, a gasoline gift card. It has been stated that this is the final anniversary celebration at this location. Amen. It is the Lord's will, and we believe that we are. Moving forward, greater take temple. Yeah. So with that in mind, to remind our pastor and first lady of this particular edifice, I have compiled sections of the church. so that they will have memories of this particular church. 227 South Austin Street. It's, just, it's an album of photos of different sections of this sanctuary. The call for leadership and service. This is just a short poem that I wrote to our leaders. 24 years of quality leadership, courage, service, and connection. You have given your best through God's guidance and direction. You have led with wisdom, integrity, and much dedication. Encouraged to do the will of God and witness his manifestation. 
as you move forward with new goals and aspirations, we pray that God will continue to reveal his plans for growth and inspiration. Thank you for the gospel messages you have spoken to us all. There's no reason for any of us to fall. May God continue to grant you favor as you move forward another year. It is my prayer that the blessings of the Lord will always remain near. Today marks your final anniversary at this location. It will be a time to continue your assigned vocation. May this day be the one to always treasure in your heart. Your service is always pleasing to God when you do your part. Enjoy this final anniversary on this holy ground. Continue to preach the word of God and praise him with a joyful sound. Happy 24th pastoral anniversary. Amen. Thank you, Missionary Ronnie. Thank you. From the auxiliaries, we have the Sunday School, Sister Dorothy Allen, if she would come down. Our Bible band, Sister Donna Hogan, if she's here. Our choir president is Sister Chama Williams. Our Sunshine Band is Sister Tina Johnson. Our YWCC is by our own missionary Jacqueline Wright. And our CWC is yours truly, Phyllis DeLoach. Our Usher Board is Sister Deborah Whitaker, and she would come down. And our hospitality is Sister Vivian Nolan. Amen. These are the auxiliaries, and these auxiliaries are not without money is already in the envelope. So we have a presentation here from the auxiliary. Put 
the best deacon, deacon of life, the chairman of the anniversary committee. Nobody like it. Come on, Jake. He's going to put the cap on this so well versed in helping us to put all of this together. Amen. Sister Phyllis working closely by my side along with Sister Bercy and Minister and Sister Tidwell. Amen. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. And last but not least, my lovely wife. Amen. Amen. my boss behind the scenes to tell everything that I need to do whether I listen or not. Sometimes I listen, sometimes I don't. But she still tells me, and then later on, I'm going to do it anyway. That's it. That's it. Thank God for her. her she and Sister Tidwell, they did all of this beautiful decoration that you see. All this lovely blue and silver two shades of blue and the silver and you can see our first lady has uh, accented it very well. Amen. 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 Just by her presence. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you so kindly on today. Thank God for our special guest on today again. The right Reverend Bishop Robert E. Rudolph. Oh, what a word on today. What a word. Pastor, keep your charge. And, and, and I don't, that's just a word of encouragement because he's going to do it anyway. I talked to my pastor on yesterday and, and last night and he encouraged me. And just, just, he don't, he don't have to say much, just a few words. And he always remember, he told me, he said, I'll be praying for you. I'll be praying for you. And when I got the, walked in the back this morning, and I saw my first lady, the first thing she said, are you all right? Mm -hmm. Amen. And you don't know what that did to my heart. Because I've had some health challenges on this week. Thank God for my wife staying in there with me. Amen. Through this time, but I feel good today. Amen. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Thank God for my family, my daughter, my son, brother Amen. Justin. Amen. He just stand right there. He told me on last night, he said, Papa, I'm taking off tomorrow to whatever you need me to do because we have a lot going on with our church building project right now and, and it's getting closer it's getting closer we're not there yet but it's getting closer and then when we get to that mark we're still going to be getting closer that's it amen amen because the next thing that have to happen after that is you know what it has to be paid for come on sir it's all good <laughs> Sister Angela, when you go buy a new house or a new car, the next thing you have to do is... You got to pay <laughs> But we thank God for his blessings on today. And we thank God. Uh, Pastor, we have a, another special for you. And I'm going to do this quickly, then I'm going to be out of your way. From the Brotherhood, who our chairperson for the Brotherhood, Deacon David Coleman along with our chairman of the deacon board, Deacon Frank Coleman Jr., we present you with a special love token. And this you can or you cannot share with the first lady. I know you will. I know you will because you're going to always think about her. And from our Tate Temple Church family and friends, we bless you this day and we love you with the love of God. We love our pastor so much. Amen. And also for our special guest on today, the Bishop 
Robert G. Rudolph, who spoke such a great word to us, and we have something to go back and, and challenge our lives with on this week, because not only does our pastor have a charge, we have a charge that's take up. That's it. Amen. When my wife was in the hospital, I called my children. I told her, I said, I need you all right now. I need you. I got on with a three-way call, and I called them, and I told them, I said, I need you, because Mama has a very, very great journey ahead of her. Uh -huh. She didn't even know that she was in this world, but look at her now. Yeah. Thank you, Bishop Robert G. Rudolph. Let's give it up for him. To say it. I don't know if we can get Bishop Rudolph. He's so busy. I said, try him. And you heard when he got up today, he said, I will do anything for, and that's what everybody always tells us. He called uh, Superintendent Vaughn one time and he was busy. But as soon as he saw that Superintendent William called him, he said, I got to call him right back. I got to call him right back. That's respect. That's respect. What a great man of God yes, and a great woman of God right by his side. Amen. Bishop Rudolph, we have a special certificate of appreciation today to share with you. For I know the thoughts that I think of you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an unexpected end. Yes, Just what Jeremiah said in the 29th chapter and 11 verse. From the Church of God in Christ, Certificate of Appreciation. If you will stand, Bishop Rudolph, at this time. Amen. Along with your lovely wife, because she's a part of this also. Amen. Amen. From the Church of God in Christ, Certificate of Appreciation, we appreciate Bishop Robert G. Rudolph, Rudolph Jr. as a keynote speaker for today. He has rewarded this Certificate of Grateful Appreciation with great pleasure that we to take Temple of Church of God in Christ on this 2021 pastoral anniversary. Our committee graciously recognizes distinguished note, keynote speaker for uh, accepting and sharing with us the anointed and powerful word of God. We trust that this certificate will serve as a lasting reminder to our sincere love and appreciation for your participation in our pastor and wife 24 pastoral anniversary. God bless you, Bishop Rudolph, and your continued ministry with God and for his people. Presented this day from the Take Temple Church of God in Christ 2021 pastoral anniversary committee done on this 24th day of October in the year of our Lord, 2021, in the city of Arkansas, Clark County of Clark County, state of Arkansas. Yes, our pastor, Superintendent Leroy Williams, Deacon Philip Wright, anniversary chairperson. God bless you. We present this to you as a last <laughs> That's my grandbaby. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> she started putting out those new records, y'all. Yeah. Remember to think about her. <laughs> God bless you. At this time, we're going to hear again from our honorees. Yes, sir. This is their closing remarks. We wanted to hear from them earlier just in case somebody tuned out on the air. You know, sometimes when we are old, Mother Anderson, when we are old live, we click it. I'm tired of Take Temple right now. But we'll come back later and see you some more. So, God bless you. First Lady, Superintendent Leroy Wheel, let's get him out here.
It truly, I know it blessed my husband and I, but I'm so thankful that he's still here to enjoy him. Yeah. 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 I didn't know my husband would be here, but to God be the glory. He is still here, serving the Lord, working in the church, and needed my husband, boy, one thing. Because one time, the doctor told me, when I walked out of the doctor's office, I asked him, what can I do as his wife to help him? He said, there is nothing you can do. It was just like that, it's over. That's what it felt like to me, and I just burst out in tears. But I went home, and I went to God. Hallelujah! I went to God and prayed. I thought, no, it just didn't seem right. It didn't seem to fit the words that he was saying. Oh, they broke my heart. But I thank God that when I went home, God said, he's going to live.
But it's changed, changed the words just a little bit to say what I want to say. All right? Let's kind of get the occasion. And it kind of goes like this. You are so I remember when I was in the Army Reserve, 
and uh, I was in, in the, the administrative part of administration, and we went to summer camp for training, and they put us in the, uh, the, to learn how to type, use a typewriter. Amen. And uh, we would go in like 8 o'clock in the morning, and you know we would stay about an hour. That's what the instructor told me. He said, I know y'all not going to learn to type in two weeks. So if you just show up, stay in about an hour, sign in, then you can go on your very way. And I did that for two weeks. <laughs> Out in Fort Worth, California, I'll go in, stay my hour, and I'll leave. Because the time that the part that I was on the typewriter, you know, they would give me a headache. <laughs> trying to learn the keys. <laughs> so I was so glad when he told us. He said, I know y'all not gonna learn how to use typewriter in two weeks. So you just show up, sign in, stay by the hour, and then you can leave. <laughs> Amen. So I just I, I just thank God for her. Thank God for her. I thank God for again for the church family. Jesus. Man, y'all have been wonderful. <laughs> Since I've been here these 24 years, and uh, I thank God for the former pastor, amen, Sue Tell and Dennis, amen. I, I, came, I came from Portland, Oregon. I placed my membership here on the hymn, and uh, he worked, thank God for him, trained the teacher, amen. And uh, most of all, one of the things I thank him for is because when he uh, had talked to, uh, I, know, I don't know what he knew, he was getting sick, his health was going to start failing him, but he had told Bishop Lindsay, and he said, now, something happened to me, he said, I want the uh, superintendent, matter of fact, he gave up the superintendent position, and uh, he told Bishop, I want Bella Williams to follow in my footsteps to have this position, and uh, so Bishop Lindsay called me one night, they were having a business meeting in Little Rock. He called me on a Friday night and said, I need you to be here Saturday morning. Superintendent Dennis has resigned as the Arkansas District Superintendent, but he wants you to take his place. So you got a night to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you decide you're going to take it, be, be here in Little Rock tomorrow. Jesus. So I showed up. And, uh, I just think of then he told us that now, son, I want him to have be the pastor of this church. So it happened to me. And uh, so Bishop Lindsay did not bring, he didn't have to bring anybody else in like a long time a church come later, bring different one in to preach. No one. He already told him, so I want Superintendent Williams to have my work. And Bishop is an honor that. And so I thank God for O.B. and Dennis. Amen. Praise God. They treat us so like we don't, like family. Amen. We just thank God for you. And again, thank God for Sister Anderson Rosers. Amen. She always come home from Michigan. Amen. Being here today. And when she come home, this is where she worship. Amen. They were starting getting the, the snow start to melt it. And then they should go back to Michigan. <laughs> Amen. Started getting one time, fall, and then she come back to Arkansas. Amen. So, but she don't forget us. Amen. And even on conference calls, Bible study, she's on the line. So we just thank God you're from Michigan. So I thank God for you. It's been a wonderful day. I know you all probably hungry. And uh, again, we just appreciate you coming. Thank you again, Take Temple. Thank you, Praise Team. Thank God for you and the musicians. Thank God for you. Thank God for Chairman. The anniversary of Deacon Wright. Those that serve on that committee, you all have done a wonderful job. And we appreciate you. We appreciate you. May God bless you. And may God keep you with me out of prayers. Amen. Yes, Lady Rudolph, I am so sorry. I had a gift for you, I thought, but it didn't happen, but it will happen. I love you. All right.
up to this church. Amen. And I've always been Texas County. On the Texas side. On the Texas side. On every Sunday. And they be here to support us. And we just thank God for the dick wells. Amen. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful family. Amen. And uh, we just want to encourage you all. Almost two years now. Yes, yes. All right. God bless you all. We love you. Anything else? I'm going to give it back to him. I don't, I think I'm through. I think I'm through. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, the Scott, a man from Greater Pleasant Hill, a man from God for you. Amen. 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 Uh, giving me this assignment on today, as you know, I do not take it lightly. So I thank you, Amen, for that. All right, brother Tim I forgot. If you did not receive your special ink pen when you came through the door, uh, there are some special ink pens from the wife and I. Uh, it's something that you can remember us by after today. Amen. So pick up your pen on the way out if you did not get it. Amen. And before I take my seat and uh, give it to the speaker, um, I want to say that on tomorrow, my wife and I will celebrate our 24th anniversary. Yeah. 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 24 years of this man, not this man. Doing it, not doing it. <laughs> amen. God bless you all. This time we're going to hand my speaker, Bishop Robert Rudolph. Amen. Close the remarks and dismiss. Amen. Amen. Again, I want to thank you all for the opportunity to minister at the historic Day Temple Church of God. Amen. Thank you all, my wife and Calvary, Sister Beverly, and just thank you for listening. If you would, let us just stay. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for the opportunity that you have given to us. God, thank you, Lord Jesus, for being an encouragement to the pastor of life in this congregation. But God, I ask that you would bless us, Lord, and protect us as we leave from this place, but not from your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen.